Good morning, everybody. Let's get all warmed up to play some music and read some stories. Maybe let's start doing a couple of claps and clap your hands together. Ooh, and you can rub them together, make them really warm. And then can you reach up really high and maybe pat your legs a little bit. Oh, my hands are starting to get warm. Are your hands starting to get warm? Maybe a little bit faster. Are you warmed up? You ready to sing our morning song together? Yay! Let's do it. All right. Good morning, everybody. You can use your hands as your instrument. You can use your voice as your instrument. You can pat your knees. Whatever you choose. Let's do it. Good morning to the sun. Good morning, everyone. We practice every day to be kind so we have fun. Good morning to the world. So much to thank you for. The sky and all the trees and the swish of the breeze. Thanks to all my friends. I might just hold your hand. Let's have a lovely day and learn all that we can. Yay! Good morning, everybody. Thanks for being here. I thought that next we could sing our rain song. I bet a lot of you got to see a lot of rain a few days ago. It was a pretty big storm. And we got a lot of rain at my house. Miss Julia got a lot of rain at her house. And I thought maybe we could bring, sing our rain song because our class garden is so happy about all that rain. It's going, growing really big and very happy. So let's do it, ready? Rain, rain, come again. Please water our garden. Fill up our rivers and our cups. Thank you very much. Again, rain, rain, come again. Please water our garden. Fill up our rivers and our cups. Thank you very much. Yay, that's a great one. So we thought we'd go ahead and start with a story from Miss Julia, and then we'll sing some more songs, and then Miss Maggie's gonna read a book, and then we'll sing more songs, and it'll be great. I thought we could read The Listening Walk, which is a lot of your favorite books. It's one of my favorite books that we read in the classroom. And this is a book by Paul Showers with beautiful illustrations by Aliki. So this is The Listening Walk. <laughs> this is going to be tricky. I like to take walks. I take walks with my father and our dog. Our dog is called Major. He is an old dog and he does not walk very fast. We go down the street and we do not talk. My father puts his hands in his pockets and thinks. Major walks ahead and sniffs. I keep still and listen. I call this a listening walk. On a listening walk, I do not talk. I listen to all the different sounds. I hear many different sounds when I do not talk. First, I hear Major's toenails on the sidewalk. Major has long toenails. When he walks, his toenails scratch the sidewalk. They go twick, 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 twick. I hear my father's shoes on the sidewalk. My father walks slowly and his shoes go dop dop, dop dop. I can't hear my shoes. I wear sneakers. I hear all sorts of sounds on a listening walk. I listen to sounds I never listened to before. I listen to lawnmowers. Lawnmowers are noisy. A lawnmower makes a steady zooming noise. It goes like this. Zoom. Can you say zoom? I like to listen to lawn sprinklers. Lawn sprinklers are very quiet. They make different sounds. Some sprinklers make a steady whispering sound like this. Can you go? Other sprinklers turn around and around. They go like this. With, 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 with. 
On a listening walk, I hear cars in the street. The shiny new cars are quiet. They make a soft, hmm. But old cars are very noisy. Old cars sound like this. Bracka, 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 bracka. Can you say bracka, 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 bracka? When cars go around the corner too fast, their tires go whirr. When cars stop quickly, the brakes go On a listening walk, I hear all kinds of sounds. A bicycle bell ringing, tring, tring. A baby crying, wah, 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 wah. A jet flies over. Jets are very noisy when they're overhead. A jet goes, you. A boy runs by dribbling his basketball. Bump, 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 bump. Can you go? A lady hurries by us. She's wearing high heels. The lady's high heels go pick pock, pick pock, pick pock. A bus is coming. The lady starts to run. Pick, 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 pick. The bus stops at the corner. That's a fun one. Can you go? The lady gets on. The bus starts up again. That's another fun one. Around the corner, men are digging up the street. They are using a jackhammer. It makes a loud banging sound. The jackhammer hurts my ears. I put my hands over my ears as we walk by. Sometimes my father and I take Major to the park. It's quiet there. The sounds in the park are not loud like the noises in the street. My father and I walk down a shady path. I do not talk, I listen. I listen to my father's shoes on the path. They make a soft sound. They go chuff, 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 chuff. I listen to the birds in the park. I listen to the pigeons and the ducks. The pigeons fly down to meet us. They want us to feed them. The pigeons puff up their feathers. They take tiny little steps. They come toward us, nodding their heads. They say, "Pru, pru, pru." He say, "Pru, pru, pru." At the pond, the ducks are waiting. They want us to feed them too. The small ducks swim up close. They turn their heads on one side and they look up at us. The small ducks waggle their tails and quack. They say, "Kank, kank, wonk, wonk, kank, kank." Kank, kank, wonk, wonk, kank, kank. The big ducks are not so brave. They stay back and swim around in circles. The big ducks look at us, but they do not come close. The big ducks say, kank, kank, kank. Sometimes I hear a woodpecker in the park. The woodpecker sounds a little like a hammer. He goes, rat, tat, 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 rat, tat, tat, tat. In the park, I hear crickets in the grass. The crickets go, creet, creet, creet. I hear the wind and the leaves. It whispers, shh. I hear bees in the flowers, buzz. It's fun to go on a listening walk. You don't have to go far. You can walk around the block and listen. You can walk around your yard and listen. You don't even have to take a walk to hear sounds. There are sounds everywhere, all the time. All you have to do is keep still and listen to them. Right now, there are sounds you can hear. When you finish this page, close the book and listen. How many different sounds can you hear right now? Take a moment. What do you hear? I hear Miss Thea's fountain and many different kinds of birds. I hear my dog Willow rummaging in the leaves a little bit. <laughs> Thanks for that story, Miss Julia. You want to tell her thank you? <laughs> All right, let's read. I mean, let's sing the mud song next because after it rains a lot of times, there's mud. And at school, we all really love the mud, don't we? It's a pretty good one. All right, ready? Mud, mud, mud. 
mud is so fun. You mix dirt with water and you get mud, 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 mud is so fun. You mix dirt with water and you get mud. Yay, that's a great one. I thought next we could sing our planting of the seed song. Miss Maddie's book is all about planting and it's one of our favorite songs ever. So if you remember, it's really important that first we scoop up some really special earth. There's some dirt in there. Maybe there's an earthworm wiggling around. Maybe some good compost from all your food scraps. It's really good earth. And then you can think of any seed, any seed at all that you would like to plant. So think really hard. Are you ready to plant them? Let's do it. First you plant the seed and you sprinkle it with love. Then the sun comes out and shines from up above. The rain comes from the clouds and soaks into the roots. And then the plants grow strong, just like me and you. Yay, that's a great one. Thanks for singing. All right, Miss Maddie, are you ready to read your story? I am, hello everyone, good morning. It's so nice to see all of you, I miss you guys. I'm reading, just as Miss Thea said, a, so a book about planting the seed. It's called Plant the Tiny Seed, and it's by Christy Matheson. There's magic in this tiny seed. Press it down and count to three. So take your seed and press it down and count with me. One, two, three. Plant another, then one more. Press them down and count to four. Ready to plant another seed? One, two, three, four. See the seeds down in the soil that we just pressed down? Wiggle your fingers to add some water. That's enough. Next, rub the sun to make it hotter. What do you see happening to our seeds? Tap the cloud and wish for rain. Please, please rain again. Oh, did it work? What do we have? Clap to bring the sun again. Oh, we need the sun back. Clap, 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 clap. Ah, oh, look what came back. Can you see it? Find the worm, look for its tail. Do you guys see the worm? Where is it? Point to the worm. Shoo away the hungry snail. Say, get out of here, snail. We gotta protect our plants. What do you guys notice about the plants? What's happening? Are they getting bigger? Tell the little bug good night. Do you guys spy the little bug? Guess what you'll see in the morning light? What do you guys think we're gonna see when it becomes morning again? What do you think's gonna happen to the plants? Oh, who guessed it? Wow, now point to the purple flower. Bzz. Tap the cloud again. What would the bees be doing on the flower? Would they be eating the pollen? It's another rain shower. What's happening to the other flowers? Can you point to the red flower now? Touch the blossoms gently, please. Oh. 
<gasps> Ooh, now jiggle the plants to scatter the seeds. <gasps> What's on the flowers now? Do you guys see the hummingbirds? Raise your hand if you've seen a hummingbird at your house. The purple flower needs a clip. Swipe across the stem. Snip, snip. Close your eyes, wave your hands in the air. Oh, look, there's magic everywhere. The end. Thank you, Miss Maddie. That was a beautiful book. Can everyone say thank you, Miss Maddie? Thank you, Miss Maddie. So wonderful. wonderful. So I have an update for you. I was at the barn yesterday and we wanted to check on the tadpoles and they're getting even bigger. So I'll have to send you a video very soon showing you how big they've gotten. But I thought we could sing our tadpole song next so that we can encourage them to grow. Does that sound good? All right, so choose whichever instrument you remember you like, your hands, your pat claps, whatever you want to do. Ready? Let's do it. I see a mass of gooey gooey eggs down in the water. They wiggle and they jiggle until they hatch down in the water. The tadpoles swim around, they start to get bigger down in the water. They start to grow legs, something's changing down in the water. With four legs and lungs, I'll call them froglets down in the water. Their tail starts to shrink, there's something else I think down in the water. From ooey gooey eggs to tadpoles to froglets, and now they're dogs. So in our pond, they are still tadpoles and they don't have any legs yet, but they are getting bigger and they're swimming around and around and around. It's pretty cool. All right, let's see. I would like to read a book about another creature that goes through metamorphosis. And what do you see? What could it be? A caterpillar. That's true. A caterpillar also goes through metamorphosis just like a tadpole does. Let's see what it changes into. So we're going to read The Very Hungry Caterpillar. <clears throat> In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. Got a hungry belly. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through one, two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through, oh, let's count them, one, two, three plums, but he was still hungry. What's next? What do you see? Let's count them. One, two, three, four. He ate through four strawberries the next day, and he was still hungry. Oh, what did he eat on Friday? What do you see? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. He ate through five oranges and was still hungry. Oh my goodness. On Saturday, that caterpillar ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone. Ooh, this is my favorite. A pickle, a slice of Swiss cheese, some salami, a lollipop, a piece of pie, a sausage, a muffin, and a slice of watermelon. That night, we had a bad tummy ache. You did not feel good after eating all those things. 
The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf and he felt much better. I think that's probably better food for a caterpillar. What do you think? Yeah. <gasps> now, he wasn't hungry anymore and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big giant caterpillar. Look how big that caterpillar got. He built a small house that we know it's either called a chrysalis, right? Or a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole. He nibbled a hole out. And he pushed his way out. And what happened? Anybody have any guesses? He was a beautiful butterfly. How exciting is that? Ooh, this is a great opportunity for us to sing our metamorphosis song all about our caterpillars turning into butterflies. Does that sound good? Let's do that one next. All right. Have you seen the worms with the little fuzzy hairs? Stop! Wait! Look over there! It's wrapping and wrapping. I'm seeing less and less. I think that's called a chrysalis. Now it's time to wait for days or weeks or years. And something really special suddenly appears. Moths! Butterflies! Butterflies are moths! And that's what you call metamorphosis. Woohoo! That's a great one, everybody. Maybe we can practice those words because I have an exciting announcement to make. So let's first practice the big word that means the change that our caterpillar goes through and our tadpole goes through, metamorphosis. Should we say it again? Metamorphosis. Yeah. And then our caterpillar friend wraps up its body while going through metamorphosis and we call it a chrysalis. Can you say chrysalis? chrysalis? Chrysalis. Yeah. And so remember that caterpillars that go and form a chrysalis end up turning into butterflies and the caterpillar that wraps in a cocoon turns into a moth. So next week, my special announcement is that we are going to have caterpillars that we're going to get to observe go through metamorphosis and turn into butterflies. How exciting is that? So very soon, I'll show you a video of our caterpillars and we'll get to meet them and tell them hello and watch them eat some food probably. Not any cupcakes though. That'll make their belly hurt, but lots of good greens, right? Cool. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us for circle time this morning. Thank you, Miss Julia and Miss Maddie for reading books. And we miss you all so much and hope to see you very soon. If you want to leave, if you want to hang out in the room and try to chat um, with each other, that would be fine too. Um, but thank you so much. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. That was really fun. Bye. See you later. Bye. Please.